Hi, kitty cats. It's October 18th, 2024. It's also Friday, and that means another dose of transgender joy. So let's jump right into it. Piece of joy number one. The 2024 Victoria's Secret fashion show featured two transgender models. And this is the first time that's happened in its nearly 30-year history. Now, the internet, somewhat predictably, blew up, claiming the models should certainly not be in a show that features clothing designed for feminine body features. But I am joyful even Victoria's Secret, not exactly well known as the most body positive advertiser out there, has recognized breasts and bottoms are their target markets, not internal reproductive organs. So piece of joy number two. The Dumbyshire Council in Wales has unearthed a King Arthur myth in which Arthur is described to wear women's clothing in order to sneak into a dance, to hit on a girl. Since gender and sexuality are distinct expressions of our identity, wearing women's clothing and being attracted to women at the same time are not at odds with each other. So, I am joyful to see an example of myth that separates sex from gender, from sexuality, as well as to see that myth recognized as part of LGBTQ history. Finally, piece of joy number three. Late September, I announced I was to become a registered agent for Yanhee International Hospital in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm very pleased to announce the details have been worked out and a contract went into effect this week. The ability to represent surgery options is part of a greater announcement I intend to make next week, but for now let me say I am joyful to continue to serve the gender diverse community. Believe me, I know it's difficult out there, that's why I do what I do, including this week's dose of transgender joy. I will see you next week. Bye!